there, everybody! Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we finished making our way here to Flo Roma Town. In today's episode, we're actually gonna go explore it. So let's go ahead and head up here. Who is this little blonde person? Do you know about grass-eyed flowers? They're giving us bouquets to express. Yeah, I have no idea where we're supposed to go. I know that we're gonna be searching for Team Galactic. Oh, look, these trees. Um, I guess these trees are gonna be berries. They look similar to the ones that are in previous versions, so I do know that they're berries. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in the berry pocket. Um, I'm not sure what berries are used for here, but they used to be used for like poke blocks. And I know you use poke blocks on your Pokemon for like the contests and stuff. I don't know what they're gonna be used for here. That's all I know they're gonna be used for there. Okay, let's head up here to Route 205. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Um, I'm not really sure. I'm going to go explore the town a little more after I pick up these berries. And then we're going to make sure we're going the right way. Because I don't, I don't want us to get lost somewhere, you know, and then be like, oh, crap. Where the hell am I going? And then you guys are going to tell me, you just went the wrong way. You're not even supposed to be at that town. Then I'm going to be like, holy crap. I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right. Not much going on here. Um, what the hell is this dude doing? Let's... Oh, no. I think these aren't trainers. I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I? A Pokemon or something? Hmm, honey. Honey, I guess that's why it's called Floaroma Town, because it smells like honey, and it attracts trainers there. So let's go ahead and make our way through here, and as you guys know, we're going to be speeding through battles. I don't think this is a battle, though. Help, help, trainer, please. I want to see my papa. My papa -pa -pa and I lived. They kicked me out, and they're making my papa do something. What is she talking about? Please, trainer, I miss my papa. Okay, so I guess the girl misses her papa, so I guess we're going to be looking for her papa. I don't know exactly where we're going to be looking for her papa, but uh, look, there's Team Galactic here. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in the Eterna Forest. This is as far as you will go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floroma. We are also convertently stealing the energy of the Valley Windworks, but that is no concern to you. Okay, I guess we can't go through there. Uh, I guess we'll just run around through here, maybe. Let's see. Um, okay, there's a Pokeball here. I'm gonna get the Pokeball before we have to fight that guy, which I'm guessing we are gonna have to fight him. And we got a potion, which is awesome. I like potions. All right, let's talk to this dude. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got ordered to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay, then you'll have to battle me for it! What? Are you serious? What? Volar is evolving? Oh my goodness, Volar is our first evolution! No! My little Volar is evolving! Oh my goodness, I didn't expect this! Holy crap, I was not expecting this at all! My little Volar is evolving and it has evolved into what? What, what Pokemon? Congratulations, your Volar evolved into Storavia! Woo, Storavia! Look how awesome his hair looks, it's like a little tail! Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't do anything if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohorts in the flower patch are the only other one. Haha, <laughs> in that sense, I am no longer the loser. Okay, so I guess he locked himself in, and we got a freaking Staravia! How awesome is that? I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, move down here then so we can uh, go look for the next thing. I think my little dude is still sleeping. Alright, let let's talk to them. Maybe I can get through here now. Wait, Team Galactic can go to the reason. Okay, where the hell do we go then? If he said he locked himself in, that means we can't go in there. So what do I do exactly? I'm not completely sure. So I guess we'll just mess around here. I don't know. Something it's locked from inside. Um, is there any other way I can get in? Let's see. Ecological something. Huh. What the hell? Is there a door up there or something? No. Where am I supposed to go from here? Let me talk to this girl again. Please, trainer, I want to see my papa. He's at the Valley Windwax. Um, we Team Galactic. Dude, are you sure I can't get through here? Seriously? Where the hell am I supposed to go? If I can't figure this out, I probably will be cutting until I figure out where I'm supposed to go. So, um, yeah, I'll be back when I figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have to head to another area. The waterworks or something, like the guy said. I don't know where the waterworks are, but I'm guessing it's going to be... Another exit here in town, so there must be another exit somewhere that takes us towards the waterworks. Could this be it up here? I don't know, we'll see. Floroma Meadow. There it seems like there's Team Galactic here. Enough arguing, hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say, Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Why would you need to attract- Hey, this kid is witness, what will we do? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple, we ensure the brat stays quiet. Here we go, another battle.
This is so lame. They're gonna dock my pay. I'm up next. Heh <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort weakened you gives me the edge. What? Sparky's evolving? Oh my goodness, my Sparky's evolving too! Holy crap! Sparky's evolving! Okay, awesome! I, oh, I didn't expect this! Two evolutions in one episode! What the hell is going on? What did he evolve into? What is that? What is that little thing? Congratulations, your Sparky evolved into Luxio! My Sparky's a little Luxio! Look at him, he's like a little cat now! Aww! This breath's tough, like really, really tough. Together then, I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh my goodness! I have a freaking Luxio and I have a Staravia! Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. Oh, it's a works key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. So I guess that's how you get the works key. Awesome, then we can start exploring the Valley Windworks. I don't really know what's in there, but Thank you, you surely saved me. Those goods were trying those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. They sure I bet they wanted your sweet, sweet honey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they sure were weird, though. You say you saw how they were dressed? What? They were saying they didn't make a whole lot of sense either. I, I need to thank you, this sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. Tame the honey. I wonder what the honey's used for. I, it's probably used, like, to attract Pokemon somehow, but I'm really not sure. All right, let's head out of here. I gotta go heal up my uh, Speedy. He got hurt in battle, and I don't want him to die or anything. Did you guys actually know that um, in the original Pokemon Red and Blue... When you meet your rival for the first time in Lavender Town, actually a friend of this told me, um, when you meet your rival for the first time in Lavender Town, he's like, um, have you ever known what it's like to have a Pokemon die? Uh, one of your Pokemon die? And it turns out like his Raticate isn't on the team before. It, like it, the Raticate that was on the SSN isn't with him anymore. So like it passed away on the SSN from injuries because he couldn't get it to the Pokemon Center in time from all the battles like he had with you. So, like, it turns out, you take the love of your rival's grandparents, you take the love of his family or whatever, you kill his pet, and then, you know, your rival, from the strength he gathered from, like, you know, his dying pet, he becomes the Pokemon champion. Um, okay, I'll continue this after this one. No way, you have the key? Look, locking the door was meaningless. I'm the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Okay, so he alerted the commander. So yes, in all that, from the strength he gathers to become Pokemon trainer, you go, the Pokemon master, you go and you crush him within seconds, like after he wins. So y you really are the bad guy. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. You are the bad guy. And here we go, random battles. Let's go ahead and speed through them. Okay, so I've gone ahead and switched my Volar to first place, just because I want him to get a little more XP because these guys aren't getting any. Um, there are a bunch of battles here, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed through them, and then we'll go and uh, see what's going on in the center. So there we go, and now there's something going on over here. There seems to be a redhead. Let's go ahead and run in, let's see what they have to tell us. I'm one of Team Galactus' three commanders. No wait, that's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. So here we go, showtime! Battle against Mars. I will be showing this one because we are about to kick a girl's ass and I was doing a man voice. Okay, well, here we go. She seems to have pretty juiced Pokemon. I should have sent out my freaking uh, Luxio out first, but whatever. We'll see if my little my little dude can do it here. Uh, let's go with a quick attack just to see how much damage I can put on him. Because my, uh, my I was about to say my Zubat. No, my Staravia is so kick-ass. I'm loving Staravia. What do you think of you doing to my Pokemon? Um, well, you know, we try to kill your Pokemon, but 
That's kind of inhumane, so what we're going to do is we're going to faint them instead. I think that works out a little bit. Oh, wow, we're kicking the crap out of the Zubat. That's why Staravia is the best flying Pokemon. Well, for me, I just like him. Look how cool his hair looks. It's like a little freaking mohawk. Fuller gained 172 XP points. All right, Commander's about to send Perugly. Perugly? All right, I want to see what a Perugly is, so I guess I'll keep Staravia out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, that is very... Oh, jeez, that is disgusting. What the hell is that? It's like a overweight cat. That's pretty nasty. Guys, if your cat ever gets to the point where it looks like that, you know, you just gotta uh, take it for a walk or something. I don't know. Can you take cats for a walk? I'm not much of a cat person myself. I'm more of a dog person. And there goes my bowler. So I'm going to be actually sending out... Let's go, Sparky. Let's go, my little Luxio. Your time to shine. Because my little bowler at least took down one of them. And he's level 17. All right, I think I'm, I'm going to have to start training up my Pokemon because I didn't expect them to be such high level. I'm going to go for a spark right away. Hopefully this uh, doesn't do much. It didn't do much. I was expecting it to do a little more. Hopefully this spark can take away like half of its XP. That would be great. Ah, uh, wow, that didn't do crap. I'm going to go for a charge. Hopefully he'll use a scratch and then I can kill him in the next one. Uh, that should be hopefully good. So there we go. Sparky use charge. I think it just raises a special attack. Uh, began charging power, I think. So let's see what it does. Special defense. What the hell? Special defense? I thought it was like special attack. Whatever. Um, I'll go ahead and use Spark. Uh, yeah, Spark once again and hopefully take out this freaking nasty looking thing. Which is just disgusting. I would never have a Perugly on my team. And KO'd! So sweet. I guess it does raise a little more than just, you know, special defense. Sparky gained 666 XP points. That's a great number. Huh. That's nice. Sparky grew to level 16. Awesome. Thank you, Sparky. Wow, you almost grew to level 17 too. Player defeated Commander Mars. This can't be! I lost! Roger, you got 1,360 Poké Dollars for winning. Oops, I messed that one up. That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. My, my. Lose to a child, will you? But no matter. We've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtain, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me, Sharon. The genius even the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we should be going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You can only just... Uh... So I guess the boss is the only one that can tell her to make sandwiches and get out get to the kitchen i don't know i guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being wow that was it team galactic they were saying they had to gather pokemon energy and no matter what it was for creating a new universe or so they claim nothing they said made any sort of sense to me i can't tell you how grateful i am for you saving me i can finally see my little daughter again hey that's the little girl we've been trying to that was okay i don't know papa yuck papa you stinky go shower now stinky Okay. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, they had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made those... Okay, I can't get these right. Basically, we freed them. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Who are the balloon Pokemon? And, um, I guess that's all we had to do in here. Really? That was, that was pretty easy. That was a really fun one, though. I, I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. That little mission had a good time with it. Um, let's see. It's Looker. Let's see what he has to tell us. Ah, uh, yes, it is you, yes. I've heard that the Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I've therefore come running. So the Team Galactic, where are they? You've run them off? You say you're a trainer, but very well. I shall go and face the gate inside. Should we head back inside then? Um, I don't know. Can I control anything? Okay, Looker's coming back. Magnificent. Yes, it is. What have you said is true. Super, there you are run. <laughs> Though you are young. Very well. I shall pursue the culprit. I've received tips at the Team Galactic Hideout is in Eternity City. To there, I must be off. Alright, so I guess that'll be it for this episode, guys. So thank you for joining me in defeating Team Galactic for the first time. In the next episode, we're going to hopefully continue on to Eterna City. So until then, thank you so much for watching, and see you guys later.